Hi, this is Steve Stearns from OutsideHealthAndFitness.com, and the following is a segment from the Outside Health and Fitness Podcast. For complete episodes and more information on getting outside and in shape, visit OutsideHealthAndFitness.com. So Chris started out just like everybody else. He completed college, took a look around at the world, and said, now what? Now, he wanted to travel, and he wanted to explore and be adventurous, so he went to New Zealand, got a backpack, got a bike, and cycled across the country. When he returned to the United States, he still wasn't through exploring and having adventures, so he decided to through-hike the Appalachian Trail all the way from Maine to Georgia. And while he was out on the trail, he was inspired. Yeah, I mean, I had a great time traveling, but a, a, a big thing that uh, I was having a problem with was food. And when, when you're on the go, it's like you you're limited to fast food on the road, right. or protein bars, or dehydrated meals, or some kind of over processed meats. I just felt like there was an opportunity there, and uh, I, I definitely wanted, you know, when I was traveling around, more nutrition. You know, whether it was calories or protein or fiber or anything like that and getting it from some kind of real ingredients and not anything funky or you know artificial there were some meal replacement bars out there but their calorie content hovered the highest ones hovered around 400 and which is which was you know it was, it was good but i really wanted something more robust that could really substitute for a full meal so you know i'm you're hiking all day on the Appalachian trail just kind of letting your yeah. Your thoughts, you know, your thoughts go, you've got nothing to do all day. I started thinking about, all right, you've got the, the FDA's recommended daily intake of nutrition and you eat three meals a day. So, you know, why couldn't we just divide those numbers by three and, you know, make a meal that, that provided that one third of your daily nutrition? So if Chris saw this need for quick, portable, easy nutrition, others must be dealing with similar issues. And it was quick, but the, you know, the guys that I had stopped with re- were drinking this ooze of peanut butter <laughs> and honey concoction and um i remember just thinking like you know this is i mean we're sitting here eating this bizarre food and i knew that you know a lot of people on the road were eating fast food so i was just kind of yeah i kind of spawned from there that i felt like there was a need so um yeah i came back to the united states and didn't have a job and i kind of thought what's the worst that could happen i always wanted to start a business so started working on that that kind of concept of one third of your daily nutrition now, Chris admits he's no chef, so how does an outdoor adventurer dial in the proper nutrition and create something that tastes good, too? Contracting, bringing a food scientist on board and a chef and started really get, getting some a nutritional profile you know, to that one-third, then started taking it to people to start sampling the product and seeing if it tasted good, and then you know, started just tweaking and retweaking and retweaking the, the formula until we had something that had the nutritional profile that we really wanted, that one-third of your daily intake, and something that tasted good. Obviously, these are great for hikers and cyclists, but you might be surprised to learn who else is benefiting from these meal replacement bars. Anybody who's health-conscious, on-the-go, needing something convenient, and needing needing nutrition, that's who we're going for. So, you know, since we've been selling for the past few months, we started selling in Early August 2014, you know, we a substantial portion of our customers are actually just businessmen, you know, working through lunch that want something quick and robust that'll actually be filling. So, you know, they're 5.6 ounces, which is over twice, if not three times the size of a lot of protein bars. So it's it's going to give you like you know, kind <laughs> of fill you up. We've had cyclists, we've had some good good um, reviews from bicycling folks, ultra runners. Pretty much anybody who's health health conscious and on the go. And the the ingredients in here are all natural. Is that right? There's nothing. Totally. I would like to go more for the organic certification with time, um, but absolutely nothing. There's nothing funky in there, and a a large portion of them are organic. But um, yeah. yeah, there's nothing nothing funky in there. Chris wanted to follow in the footsteps, pun intended, of Tom's shoes and build a company that gives back. Yeah, again, so just the idea of starting a company, wanting to do something a little beyond the the profit motive, it just seemed to make sense. So partnered up with the Atlanta Community Food Bank. Any meal bar that somebody buys, we give a meal to the Atlanta Community Food Bank to distribute around around Georgia. 
So the Green Belly Bar is an all-natural meal replacement that packs a third of your daily requirement into an easy-to-use, compact, and great-tasting bar. And as if that's not enough, Green Belly donates a meal to the Atlanta Food Bank for every bar you purchase. If you want more information, if you want to help support Green Belly Bars, if you want to get some bars for yourself, check out Chris's Kickstarter page at outsidehealthandfitness.com forward slash Green Belly. And stay tuned later this month for my full interview with Chris from Green Belly Bars. So I hope you enjoyed today's segment. For full episodes, visit outsidehealthandfitness.com forward slash get show. I'll send you downloadable show notes, exclusive content, and more, so you never miss another episode. I'll even send you a copy of the Blast Off Bodyweight Program as my free gift to you. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll see you next time.